From Tampa Bay Screening News Leader, brought to you by AlertTodayFlorida.com, this is ABC Action News. I'm Dee O'Reilly. If you like sunny and warm temperatures, then you will love today and tomorrow. Greg D will have your full forecast coming up. But first, though, I want to get to your ABC Action News headlines. The former Zephyr Hills woman who won $278 million in the Powerball lottery back in 2013 is now suing her son Scott for mismanaging her money. Gloria McKenzie, who's now 90 years old, claims Scott and his financial advisors put her money into low return investments while charging her $2 million in fees. She moved to Jacksonville after she hit the bid. In Democracy 2019, the candidates to be Tampa's next mayor made their final pitches to voters. Jane Castor and David Strass faced off in a debate last night. Quality of life for city residents was one of the many topics that they took on. We'll meet every Monday morning at 8 o'clock in the mayor's office. We will deal with quality of life issues and these issues will be brought to us by the citizens. The um, quality of life cabinet he's talking about is what we call a staff meeting. <laughs> Diversity is what defines Tampa as such a great city so we can't have anyone priced out of a neighborhood. Election day is April 23rd. Early voting begins this Sunday. In the quest for the Stanley Cup, the Lightning looking for a fresh start during game two. Crew spent much of the night cleaning up and preparing the ice after last night's KISS concert. The Bolts gave up a three goal lead Wednesday night in game one. Now it's time to forget about the loss and get a win tonight. The, the one thing about this group, they've, they have rallied around each other and, and they have, as you said, self-corrected themselves. Tonight's game starts at 7. If you don't have tickets, the Lightning are still inviting you to watch the game with hundreds of other fans in Thunder Alley right outside Amelie Arena. And be sure to watch our ABC Action News special quest for the cup tonight at 630. We'll be live from Thunder Alley. Plus, get the word of the day to enter to win round two tickets if the Bolts advance. You can watch quest for the cup on all of our streaming apps, including Roku, Amazon Fire TV and Apple TV. Some of the world's finest blues musicians are in the Bay Area this weekend. The Tampa Bay Blues Festival kicked off today at St. Pete's Vinoy Park. This year's headliners include Johnny Lang tonight, Boz Gax tomorrow, and Tab Benoit on Sunday. Single day tickets start at $40. And Greg, looks like it's going to be a really nice weekend. Oh yeah, the weather's just going to be fantastic for all these great events. First, the general look at the afternoon. Upper 80s to near 90 in Tampa could be the first 90 degree highs for some of us east of 75 for 2019. Most sunny rain is not going to be an issue this morning. It's going to be a little warm heading into the Bolts game tonight at Amelie, but leaving Amelie, you're going to see some nice weather with clear skies and temperatures in the mid 70s. What about the weekend? Well, it's looking great whether you're heading to Clearwater for the Sugar Sands Festival or the Blues Festival in St. Pete. Temperatures will be in the 80s. I do not expect rainfall this weekend, though Sunday will turn cloudy by the afternoon and it will get a little breezy. Your complete forecast posted at ABCActionNews.com. Celine Dion is coming to Tampa next year. She's going to perform at Amelie Arena on January 15th. Tickets went on sale this morning at all Ticketmaster locations. You can now get news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device. And don't forget to download the free ABC Action News app to receive breaking news alerts. This ABC Action News update is brought to you by AlertTodayFlorida.com. Drivers, pass bicyclists safely. Allow a minimum of three feet between you and a bicyclist because safety doesn't happen by accident.